I'm Karen Feinerman, and this is your Fast Money Trade School. Feel like you're getting lost at sea in the stock market? One tip to find your way, follow the whales, Wall Street's most powerful investors. These heavy hitters have to disclose their biggest holdings. Just check out a 13F form filed quarterly to see what Buffett or Icon have been buying. But before you dive in head first, remember, even whales can get beached. Class dismissed.
As for Akamite, you can see that this one's in a good strong trend and is currently above all its movement averages and probably the strongest one of all of them. In the near term, Stochastics is indicating a lower move, but apparently we've already had that. So um, we may go down to the 40 day moving averages or we may hold at the 20 but everything looks like this one will probably continue to move higher in the near term. As for ASEI, our American Science and Energy, uh, this one's had just a relatively dying off and is just heading lower. Uh, Stochastics is in the lower part of the range and looks like it will be bouncing up higher. So you may expect some kind of technical bounce on the poor stochastics. But also you could be embedding and be looking for this one to head lower as well. So since there's no um, technical support levels over to the right over previous price highs, I'd look for this one to either head sideways to lower. As for was it Frontier Research, uh, see this one's in a general uptrend and is bouncing off its 100-day moving average. So that gives you some good... Chances for this one moving sideways to higher for now. Um, now also you have these upper level resistance with its more shorter term moving averages. Stochastics is in the mid of the range, so that leaves more prudence to this one just heading sideways for now. As for OSUR, uh, this one's under pretty much all of its moving averages and looks like it's heading lower. Stochastic looks like it's embedding, so this one looks like there's quite a bit of downside potential for this one. As for VTIV, you can see that this one's had quite a bit of tough time getting over the 25 level. And typically when you see formations like this, there's usually some sort of merger news or buyout news keeping it at that 25 level because it's been in basically just under the 25 level for a while. So I'd say check the news, see if that's what's keeping it at the 25 level. And if so, there's probably not much upside potential on this one. If not, um, you know, it's having a tough time getting over 25, so if it were to break the 25 level, if there's no merger news or anything keeping it at that level, this one may have a potential for an upside breakout. So, in review, the strong buys are Hasbro, and the moderate buys are Tata Motors, CHSI, DNEX, MRH, Akamai, ASEI, FORR, OSUR, and BTIV all coming in as moderate buys. Again, I'd like to remind you that all analyst recommendations are as of June 8, 2010. And if you'd like a more up-to-date look at the holdings of TMF Elderhead, you can find them on the Motley Fool caps. And you can get a more up-to-date analyst ranking by finding an average through these three websites. Now again, on to my disclaimer. Disclaimer, I am not a licensed investment advisor, and the investments I am showing you today are what I'm doing for my friends and family's accounts. And I am not affiliated with any of the websites used to determine these rankings. And I currently own none of the stocks discussed today. So again, this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP. Saying thank you and see you next time for I'm a Well Watcher. Hello, I'm Brian McKeon, creator of The Predatory Lender. Now, if the previous was a little too boring for you, Try joining the Predatory Lending Team as they go on their intergalactic adventures trying to hunt down the next great investment opportunity for you!